All right, so we've got a huge mess going on here. I haven't uh, obviously put things back together or cleaned up yet, but I've uh, spent the evening uh, adding three speakers into my 92 Previa that did not exist before. Um, I had previously on my last audio update had installed this Amazon uh, touchscreen unit. It's not an Android and it doesn't uh, play any discs, but it does do uh, Bluetooth and it does do the radio, of course. And it even has like a rear camera input and some other stuff like that. It works great. Um, I also replaced the, uh, I believe they're five and a quarter, maybe six and a half. I think it's five and a quarter. I can't remember the size now, but you can see the other video, but I replaced the door speakers here um, on both sides, as well as the uh, mid speakers here in the back. Uh, this Previa only came with four speakers. Um, the 92s, for the most part, did not have the option for dash speakers. Um, they eliminated the dash speakers and replaced those with the door speakers later on. Um, so what I have done is I have added uh, four inch, but I, I think they're actually like four and a quarter. Let's just see. Those were the biggest pain in the butt. Here's the box. PLG 54. These were, I think, 15 or $18 a piece on Amazon. And I swear they're a little, oh, there it is. Five inch high performance woofer. Now this is meant to be a mid bass woofer as you can see from the picture and from the way it looks. Uh, there are no tweeters on this at all. Um, there's just the woofer itself and I wish that I had kept one out for a second because as you can kind of see from the picture it's actually got a ridiculously big uh, magnet on the back and that was the biggest pain trying to get these things to fit especially since this was an inch oversized. Uh, what I ended up having to do is you can kind of see it here. If you look down in there, and I doubt you can see it with this video. Um, yeah, right there, just below this area here. There's a plastic trim that basically just goes on the edge of that fuse box um, that just kind of hides some cables. Uh, the only way I could get these two speakers to fit in here was to actually uh, basically shave down, or what I did just to avoid cutting wires was to break off uh, the plastic from about this corner to about over here uh, in this area. And I did that on both sides. And that was the only way I could actually get those two speakers to fit in there and actually have the lid closed. Now I did have to pick up, I guess I didn't have to, but I did pick up out of a junkyard a uh, earlier model um, fuse box cover that had the two speaker grills in it. Um, that way it could actually vent into the cabin correctly. Um, I've got an older subwoofer, or I'm sorry, older amplifier here. I'm probably gonna replace this with uh, something a little bit more modern. Um, I think this MTX amplifier probably only puts out like two or 300 watts. Uh, so we're not gonna blow any doors off or anything like that, but so far there's definitely a difference. Uh, we can follow the wires. The install was pretty straightforward as far as any stereo install goes. Uh, we've got our power wire here coming off the uh, battery and I've got it basically going around the air box kind of against the body and then just kind of, and I'll end up zip tying it again. We haven't quite cleaned things up yet, but um, it's going back underneath the uh, air intake and then, uh, whoa, hello, I just dropped the phone. Welcome back. Um, and I just ran it right through this little rubber boot here. Um, so I didn't have to cut any holes in the firewall or anything there. And then you can see again, the carpet's all out. It's a mess right now, but there's uh, plenty of room for uh, the carpet to go over and cover the wires, which again, that'll get cleaned up as well. We've got the power wire. We've got the cables for the audio. Uh, we've got some other crap that's old that apparently, apparently this Previa had a, um, you can see here's part of the wiring. I started removing it. But this Previa actually had a cell phone um, in it, not from the factory, but mounted underneath the floorboard and I pulled out the carpet was this thing, which is pretty cool. It's an old uh, F80M uh, Fujitsu America. I looked this thing up. It's like a cell phone um, receiver, which 
Makes sense why there's this antenna on the outside of the car now. That is a cell phone antenna. Now we all know. Um, you can see the coax cable coming off of it on the back here, and that was going up underneath. But anywho, uh, we'll clean up those cables and get them situated where they're laying flat and tucked up underneath the dashboard correctly. Um, this amplifier is going to be our very test fit it as well. Uh, the amplifier is going to be mounted underneath of the passenger side seat here. Um, obviously, everything will bolt back in. Again, we've got some cleanup to do with just kind of properly uh, tucking these wires. But you can see I've got the ground run right under here. Um, and then what's nice, at least with this uh, amp, is I'm going to be able to have all the cables and wires facing backwards. So they won't even be visible to anybody. Um, but I can still access all the adjustments up front, which will be important, obviously, as I finish the setup here. Um, and then beyond that, I kind of loosened up the carpet uh, going through the back. Uh, the reason why I wanted to have the amp mounted up front separate from the woofer out back was because with this being a van, I wanted to be able to still use it like a van. And anytime I've ever had an amplifier hooked up to the stereo back here, uh, that means I've got a bunch of wires I've got to disconnect just to you know load up stuff. And um, that also means you've got to separate your power and ground and audio cables and all that stuff so you don't get any distortion and uh, the way I've done it right now is since the amplifier is mounted remotely underneath of the front seat uh, what we've done instead is move the well the only cables we have going to the back now are the two for this sub this is just a 10 inch sub in a sealed box uh, it's more just kind of leftover parts uh, from my shed but you can see I did not modify the carpet or anything else there's actually I guess I did modify the carpet there's already uh, access here where the uh, seat would normally clip down in. I did go ahead and trim a little bit of extra hole here so that when I get all this situated, uh, there's no way there could be a pinch point here for this seat to that speaker wire. And I'll double check all that just to make sure it's legit. If I need to, I can maybe put a hole here and zip tie this in place or something just to keep you know, this in place here so it doesn't get over here and do that number. Um, but yeah, this saw uh, will be facing right back behind here. I'm just gonna have it set right up here, up here behind the seat. Uh, so it just takes up very little space. Um, I've actually already test fit it. We can actually kind of see here with the angle of this box, if it's perfectly against that seat, it doesn't take up any trunk space. Um, and it actually sounds a whole lot better. I'm not gonna be able to ever monetize this video, but we'll get some music playing and we'll see how it sounds. See, there's the five inch woofers and I haven't tuned this out yet this is basic you know reset EQ settings and I haven't really adjusted this too much and all the windows and doors are open and I'm sure you can't pick up what's going on with the audio but it is much more full sounding and these little things put out some air Here's the woofer in the back. Not super loud, but clean. There's the mids and highs that were added. Those are the kickers that were added there. The kickers sound good, but they're very um, high pitched and with them being smaller, they don't have a lot of bass coming out of them. And they're not amplified except for the head unit. See there's and again so basically all we did today was we added a 10 inch woofer and two four inch woofers up front so hopefully it's got a nice balanced sound stage where it's got up front it has some bass representation and some uh, mids and highs in the doors and then also for the back there's a little bit of an extra deeper punch from the actual 10 inch woofer and then the same setup with the side speaker so Hopefully now there's going to be a nice even spread of uh, audio, um, especially with the uh, 
I'm thinking with the van closed up and the windows up and everything like that, it's probably going to have a pretty good sound. Again, we're not going to win any kind of uh, uh, trophies or sound competitions with this, but I am pretty happy with it. Now I just need to get all the trim put back in, uh, tidy up you know, all the wires, make sure this thing is secured, uh, make sure all that is cleaned up down there, and then just put all the crap away, get rid of my trash and everything else. So yeah, this was a pain. Actually, the uh, stereo install was easy. As far as the uh, amplifier and the wiring, that was traditional. It was actually probably easier than some of the other cars that I've done. Biggest pain was fitting those five inch woofers. I think if you had like a four inch, uh, I couldn't find a four inch uh, base driver. Uh, the five inch was the best thing I could find, or closest thing I could find. But I think if you went with some high quality four inch speakers, especially if it was just a two way and not a three way, if you still put some power to it with the amplifier, you might still be happy with the sound. Um, but I wanted to have no tweeters up in the dash because I already had so much coming out of the doors here. Uh, and I've never had bass coming out of my dashboard. And I was a little worried that there was gonna be a rattling. And so far I haven't had any of that, even you know, with the way they're kind of crammed in there. Uh, Cause it's definitely wedged up against the, uh, the tubes that run into the dashboard for the vents. It's definitely right up against that. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a good week for the Previa. I finally redid the wheel bearings up back and, you know, I'm going to be finishing up the stereo here in a few minutes. So yeah, thanks for watching.